So let's analyze this question. Consider the following in respect of prime number P and composite number C. Which of the statements given above are correct? Now tell me, what do you mean by prime number? So any prime number you take, the prime number will have only two factors. That means one and that number itself. There are only two factors for any prime number. Okay. So composite number means numbers which are having more than two factors. So any number that has more than two factors, they are called composite numbers. More than two factors. Let's take an example. Okay. Prime number. What are the examples of prime number? You can say two is a prime number. It's a if a, only even prime number is two. Then you have three, five, seven, eleven. All of them are prime numbers. You can see, right? There are only two factors. They are having only two factors. Any number you take, they are only having two factors. Composite number means any other number other than prime number will be composite. Let's say four. It's a composite number. They are having more than two factors. Or let's say six is a composite. Or eight, nine, all of them are composite numbers. And always keep in that mind, one is neither prime nor composite. Okay, keep in mind, one is not a prime number as well as it's not a composite number. Okay, always keep in mind. Next is we have these three statements and which of the following or which of the statements given above are correct. Now you can see if you analyze the statement, you can see it's, it's written as can be even or 2p plus c can be odd, right? It's a maybe type question. So in these such questions, what you need to do is you just need to pick some numbers, pick some numbers and prove that this is possible. That should be your strategy. You pick some num number for p and c and prove that this can be possible. So this should be your strategy for any maybe or can be type question like this. So what I'm going to do is we're going to pick some numbers for P and C and check whether it's possible uh, or not. Let's take first one. Okay. Let's say first statement. So first statement is saying that P plus C divided by P minus C can be even. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick some number here. So what numbers I can pick? It's it's a trial and error. Okay, you can you can start with any number for p. Let's say uh, p. I'm taking let's say uh, eleven prime number. Any prime number you can pick eleven. Let's say c. Uh, I'm picking let's say nine. So what is p plus c here? Eleven plus nine is uh, twenty. Upon p minus c is eleven minus nine. So let's have uh, 11 plus 9 upon 11 minus 9, which is equal to 20 upon 2, which is equal to 10, an even number. So that means we just now proved that this is possible. So statement 1 is actually true. So out of the options, we can eliminate option B because in option B, there is no uh, statement 1. For that reason, I can eliminate option B. Is that particular for you guys? So it's trial and error. Okay, you try, try with some numbers P and C. P should be a prime number, C should be a composite number and check whether it's possible to get an even number. Now let's try the second one. Second one. Okay. First one we just now got it's true. Second one. 2P plus C can be odd. Okay. So you should always keep in mind instead of randomly picking numbers, you can always use the rules and properties you learn. Right. The result should be odd. So that's what we are trying to prove here. The result here can be odd. That's what we are proving, right? So 2p, right? You're multiplying a number with 2. Definitely, I can say that 2p is going to be an even number. So you have an even number here. And what about c? You're adding an uh, even number with uh, that. You're adding c here. And the result we are trying to get is odd. Is it possible to get an odd result? Yes, it's possible, right? c can be any odd number. We just now learned, right? See, to unlike terms, if you add, the result is always odd. So you have even result here. 2p is always even. So c should be any odd number, any odd composite number. Definitely will give you odd result. So it's possible. We just now proved that it's possible. See, you don't need to pick number even, right? We just now use the rules here to figure out that it's possible. Let's say in case if you if you're planning to pick some numbers here, okay? Let's say p is equal to 3. So you have 2p plus c that's what we need we need to prove it 2p is uh, p2 times 3 6 
plus let's say c could be any number right any composite number let's say i'm i'm taking a composite number here 15 15 is a composite number if you have 6 plus 15 it is 21 which is odd it's actually true it's possible got it so 1 and 2 is actually true here so option uh c is eliminated b we already eliminated so you have two options left option a option d so you just need to check the last or the third statement to confirm which one of them would be the correct answer so if you analyze the third one pc can be odd pc means you are multiplying that prime number with the composite number we are trying to prove that you are getting an odd result you will get an odd result okay if you re remember the rule for multiplication if you're multiplying two numbers and the only way to get the odd result is two numbers should be odd that's the only way you will get an odd result yeah it's possible right p can be any odd prime number and c can be any odd composite number definitely you will get an odd result it's possible you can try some numbers let's say three times uh c is gonna be let's say nine yeah makes sense right three times nine nine is a composite number it's odd 3 is a prime number, it's also odd number, right? 3 times 9 is 27. You are getting an odd result. Yeah, it's possible. So we just now proved that this is a possible. So your answer is option D is the right answer. So always keep in mind in these type of questions, can be type questions. What we need to do is you just need to pick some numbers and prove that this is possible.